A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a momentous occasion for Australia, King Charles and Queen Camilla have arrived for their first official visit as reigning monarchs, marking a significant event in the history of the British monarchy's relationship with Australia. The royal couple landed at Sydney Airport on Friday evening, greeted by a host of dignitaries, including Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, NSW Premier Chris Minns, and Governor-General Sam Mostyn. This visit is particularly notable as it is the first by a reigning monarch since Queen Elizabeth II's tour in 2011 and comes six years after King Charles's last visit to Australia. The arrival was marked by a brief downpour, which ceased just in time for the royal couple to step onto Australian soil. King Charles, aged 75, has made the journey despite undergoing treatment for an undisclosed form of cancer, demonstrating his commitment to fulfilling royal duties. The couple was welcomed with warmth and respect, with Prime Minister Albanese and Premier Minns, both known Republicans, offering heartfelt handshakes to the monarch. Among the crowd, a special moment was shared with 12-year-old Kai, who presented a bouquet of flowers to Queen Camilla as part of a wish granted by the Make-A-Wish Foundation. The touching interaction between Kai and the Queen captivated onlookers and highlighted the significance of this visit, not just as a royal duty but as a connection with the Australian people. In a heartfelt message posted on social media prior to their arrival, King Charles and Queen Camilla expressed their excitement to return to Australia, emphasizing the rich cultures and communities that make the country unique. As the royal couple prepares for their five-day tour, they will take Saturday to recuperate from their long journey. Their itinerary includes private meetings with the Prime Minister and his wife, as well as a series of public engagements starting Sunday. The King and Queen's schedule has been adjusted due to health considerations, with fewer events planned compared to typical royal tours. However, they will still participate in a variety of activities, including formal dinners, wreath-laying ceremonies, and public appearances at iconic locations such as the Sydney Opera House and the Australian War Memorial. The Opera House sales were set to be illuminated with a montage of royal photographs to celebrate the couple's arrival, a fitting tribute that was slightly delayed due to a cruise ship's tardiness. Despite the challenges, the visit symbolizes a renewed commitment to the ties between the British monarchy and Australia as they navigate the evolving landscape of the Commonwealth. On Monday, the couple will travel to Canberra, where they will lay a wreath at the Australian War Memorial and meet with political leaders, including opposition leader Peter Dutton. They will also engage with community leaders and learn about Australia's ongoing efforts to combat bushfires and promote environmental conservation. As the excitement builds, many Australians are eager to catch a glimpse of their new monarchs at various events, including a possible appearance at the prestigious Everest horse race. Although there are whispers of the royal couple attending the event, official sources have indicated that they may prioritize rest and recovery during their first days in Australia. Queen Camilla has also planned solo engagements, including visits to local libraries and discussions on social issues, showcasing her commitment to community engagement. This royal visit is a significant event that highlights not only the enduring connection between Australia and the British monarchy, but also the evolving role of the royal family in addressing contemporary issues facing society today. As the world watches, King Charles and Queen Camilla's tour promises to be a blend of tradition and modernity, reflecting the values and aspirations of both the monarchy and the Australian people. The royal couple's journey down under is not just about ceremonial duties. It is an opportunity to foster goodwill, celebrate cultural diversity, and strengthen the bonds that unite the Commonwealth. With each engagement, they will leave a lasting impression on the hearts of Australians, reminding everyone of the importance of connection and community in a rapidly changing world. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.